Oh, hey YouTube. Zombie Legend here. Ah, oh, that intro kind of sucked, but you know what? I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, um, so as you can see, this is probably one of the first videos on my channel that is not directly connected to a video game. It is connected to a video game as a title, you can say, uh, you can see it from that, but, uh, it's going to be more in how to install the Tech It one if you have re premium Minecraft. And I did make a cracked version for all of you cracked players out there. And also the extra feature that I'm going to show you how to do is how to add more creatures to it. I'm not going to go over the server section because this is primarily directed towards the players of the server. I play on Good Life Gaming because uh, we're adding a Tech It option into the game. So that's where I'm gonna just go off. Okay, um, this is the website to get to the Tekken Technic Launcher. The Technic Launcher is for premium Minecraft users, pretty much, and is very useful. It makes it very easy. I'll put a link to the, all, everything you'll need in the description. This is the Technic Pack uh, .net. It's and right here is the download the Technic Launcher. I already have it, but just if you have Windows, click there. If you have Mac, if you have Linux slash jar file, you can click there. And it will just, you save it. I already have it, so I don't need to do all this. But uh, you save it, and you will be prompted with this. The Technic Launcher. It will be go through a loading process. And you'll have, it will start with vanilla or no mod selected. And scroll down to tech it. Go to options, make sure it's on recommended build. That's what we'll be we will always be using. You type in your password, your Minecraft username, stuff like that. You press login, it will download all the files for you, and that's that's pretty much it. If that doesn't work for you, then you're gonna need the, to use the cracked version. I I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first I'm gonna show you how to install more creatures for it for tech it. Okay, so the servers I'm using is gonna be running on Mo creatures 3.6.2, but either version will work for you. So I've already got this, but I'm gonna just download it again. Stupid ads, uh, save and let's see. Sorry about this, the sound recorder thing, that's just what I use to record the sounds. Okay, and I'm done with that. I'll put that link to the description too, and I'm done with this. So I'll load that up to. And uh, guys, sorry if I'm, this isn't exactly the best one or the best description thing. I've never done this kind of thing before, so I'm kind of new. So I'm going to help. So go to, click on the Windows run thing, type in slash, no, percent, app data, percent, click on roaming. And now you'll be prompted with another one. It's called Technic Launcher. Click on that. And there will be an option called Tech It. And this will have all the mods already installed and stuff like that. Like everything you'll need. And nothing you'll need. This is where everything is. This also is where you can find your texture packs. And uh, your saves. Stuff like that. Um, and this is where you'll need to go. You will, you'll, Really you'll just put. You'll add more creatures into the mods. Right now it's already there for me. Right here. You're also going to need custom mob spawner, which I will give a link to that also. And the only real editing thing, like that's pretty easy. Those Just add those two mods to the mod section. And Minecraft, you just open with this with WinRAR. You know most of these procedures. If you have tech, Technic, you pretty much know all this. And what you'll need is, it's called GUI. I hope I have it in here. I... I yeah, here it is. GUI API. The main thing. I already have it installed, but what you would do is you select all the files, drag and drop into there, delete meta inf, which for some reason is not deleted. I'm not sure exactly how tech it works, the inside files of it, but that's the that's what you have to do. Once those are all done and you have it in your mod section, you just load it up. Mo creatures will work. And you'll be done, and you can join our server if you want to join our server. It also works for the updated version of Mo Creatures. If you want to do that? Okay, guys, uh, I'm I'm back. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just say it. 
I, I opened up my file and apparently he, some stuff came up that was not supposed to be there. Uh, I'm, I'm not responsible if that's what happened because that was not supposed to show up. I'm really sorry. I'm not going to say what it was. Most of you can probably guess what it is, but I'm not going to say. I reloaded it. Nothing happened. N none of that popped up again. I think it might have just been a glitch in the system. A, a, a thing got let in or something like that. Not 100% sure. But this is the tech it download. This, I already have this installed. I don't need to reinstall it. I've already tested it. It does work. That thing was not my fault. I'm sorry for it. That I had just closed the video because of that, but I'm gonna just exit that out. And here's here's what I gave you. Um, or is it not here? It should be in downloads. Here it is. Yeah. Take a download. Here's the file that you'll get from that download, and it will have my ticket in it with all the mods. It will not have any of my information because I'm not an idiot. Will not have any text packs, no saves, no stats, nothing. It will have the bin file already done. So when you crap, sorry about that. Uh, it will uh, it, the bin file is already done. It has G GUI API already installed, so you don't need to do anything with that. All you need to do is load this up. You drag tech it into you extract that file. And this is where the complicated parts come in. So most of you should probably know how to use a computer slightly well if you know how to do any of this. So just type in slot percent app data percent, open the roaming file. But this time you have to go to dot Minecraft, and you you pretty much clear everything here. I guess you keep your last login, last login and information like that. And I, I'm not using a cracked right now, so I don't know exactly how it looks, but I. I'm pretty sure you guys have the dot Minecraft and stuff like that. As long as you're not using it on a, a survival multiplayer or survival gameplay where you can't install any mods, well, pretty much you just clear that out, clear this out, completely delete this fo folder, and then you drag everything here. If you're smart, you'll keep a save of your bin so you can switch between each uh, section, and play on different servers or stuff like that to play 1.3.2 or tech at 1.2.5. So you're going to have to try and do that. So don't at least keep a save file of this. Always keep a, like, a copy of something so you know what to do. Back up your things, stuff like that. You know, you guys know what to do. And when you're done with that, this will be what your .minecraft will look like. It will look like this since all these files will be inside. I'm not going to demonstrate it because I have some important files that I can't make copies of because they're too big or too large to make copies of. But here's what you'll do. You'll just you'll do the exact same thing you normally do. You put in the Mo Creatures version that you want into the into the mods bin, and then you put custom mob spawners in. Nothing else. You you already have GUI API inside. There's nothing else you have to do. It's actually very simple. Even since I'm making this very simple for you, you guys. If anything does pop up, by the way. Don't blame me accountable because that's not my fault. That's Mediafire's glitching fault. And just exit out of it, reload it again, and it should be fixed. So don't blame me. Just just try it. If anything pops up, make sure your parents aren't in the room in case something pops up or it's just something. And I did scan it for viruses. There is nothing on it. I've ch I've checked. There's n there should be nothing on it unless Mediafire lets in a file. That's not me doing it. So. This should pretty much cover everything you need to do. Um, pretty sure that's everything. I'm not so you. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm still not the very best at this. I'm I'm very new to making videos like this. Uh, I guess this is this is pretty much it. I guess you guys can see my desktop now. So I'm using a lot of new things, testing some things out. Well, guys, I guess this wraps it up. Sorry for the lack of videos on today, Friday, September 14th. I uh, didn't have any time to process any videos lately. So this weekend I'll be editing videos. I got a three-day weekend. So I'll try and process this video and have it up on Saturday or tomorrow for me. But uh, 
and I'll have this up after my soccer game, and I'll have two I think Zomcraft videos up, and that's that should be good. So talk to you guys next time.